So hello and uh, welcome to another review. This is a Friday review. Uh, try not to interfere with my landscape photography and my adventures. Uh, they come out on a Wednesday and a Sunday, but this is a Friday review. Um, we're back with Ulanzi. 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 Um, they've sent me a few little items. Now, they're very much like a, a vlogging video based type of company with gadgets of brackets and lights and fittings and stuff to make your videography a little bit special. Um, this is really for my video equipment and I'm actually quite pleased to show you this because it's going to make an improvement on uh, what it is I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be showing you what I have been using. This is what I've been using. I've showed you this in the past. I've got the little Ulanzi light on the side of my GoPro and I've got the little Ulanzi. I think this is an MT8, MT08, little tiny stand and a little tiny stand. It's extendable so I can actually get a little bit of reach when I'm vlogging. And uh, yeah, just say hello to Mrs. C. She's over the background there having the sun. Um, I wouldn't trust this thing standing up in the wind, but it's okay for standing up just outside when there's no wind and I'm baking in this sunlight. So that's what I have been using. Now they've done a slight improvement on this. They've sent me an R079. Uh, this is a part of the Hummingbird kit. They've also sent me this, which is an RO78, which is part of the Hummingbird kit. Now the Hummingbird kit, I wasn't sure what it was when they first asked me about it, so I had a little look and I think it's brilliant. I've had a play with it and it's gonna set up my little vlogging, vlogging system very, very good uh, and make it a lot easier for me to use, or a lot better for me to use and make it footage a little bit easier for you. Uh, this is also something they sent to me, which is an MT16. This is not part of the uh, Hummingbird system, um, but it is gonna act as part of my kit. <clears throat> so let me show you what we got. Let's start with the hummingbird stuff because this is the important part. In the hummingbird tripod, let's have a little look. This is the same as the MT-08 size. Uh, I have had this out and the, the lanyards that are fitted on the side of these, I've actually fitted, I screw, I am actually drilled a tiny little hole in the side of the plastic and fitted a lanyard so that when I've got them in my hand and I'm leaning over water, I don't tend to lose them. So ignore the lanyards, they don't come as part of this as standard, I've fitted them myself. So you've got this little tiny tripod and it also comes with a little tiny fitting inside, so I'll take it out of the box and put the plastic back away, stop it from blowing away. Like I say, this is an R078. Now what this does, exactly the same as the other one, you've got this small tripod, plastic tripod, which clips together, tiny little handle, nice little hand grip. It's got a little ball head on the top, which is great for getting your camera in the direction you want to get it in. But in addition to the top of this one, it's got this little hummingbird little hummingbird symbol on the top. And what this is, it's like a quick release. It's got a little metal plate on the top with a clip inside and a little button on the side of it. And this little tiny plate that fits on the bottom of your cameras, which has got a, three, uh, a quarter inch thread on it. And it literally just locks in. As you can hear that, unclip it, pull it out, clip it in, and it locks in. So what I can do with this, I can take this and I can fit it to the bottom of one of my action cameras. And I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with these in a moment to make it all work together. So that's that little tripod, tiny little tripod. All the price and the details will be up on the screen so you can see everything as I'm talking. But that's a little hummingbird tripod. And like I said, this one is exactly the same as the other one. It extends out and it gives you a reach of about 12 inches um, and it shrinks down to about four to five inches. So it definitely gives you a little bit of reach for your camera. So I'm gonna show you everything. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna set this up. I had a play with this yesterday. Also in the kit with this little tripod, you get another base like so. So you can fit this to another gadget, another item, another action camera, another mini camera that goes on the tripod. And this one has also got a little magnetic key in the bottom. So for doing up the screws on the bottom, it's got this tiny little magnetic key, which is brilliant. All right, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with that. So that's, that's in that kit in this box. That's what you get with that. In this little box, you get another fitting. This is a quick release base for the GoPro. And again, I've had this out. This is part of the Hummingbird system. And there are other Hummingbird items in their kit as well. If you wanna have a look online, I'll put a link for the, uh, for the um, page on there. Exactly the same again, this is a hummingbird, so it unclips. The hummingbird is this little wing type thing that it clips into. Exactly the same, push the button in, it slides out, put it in there, clips in, all right? But on the top of this one, you've got a GoPro mount, standard GoPro mount, three little prongs, two slots, and a, a screw to hold it in. But also on the bottom of this, you've got a quarter inch thread, so you can attach this to any tripod, any tripod you want, and it's also got two little feet on the bottom, two little legs that magnetic out, 
Again, that can be added to another GoPro mount. So you could fit this to your GoPro mount, say fixed to your windscreen of the car, and then you can have this on a quick release and you can literally just pop it out, slide it out, take it away and attach it to something else. So that's the other thing that comes with it. So I've now got two Hummingbird clips and three Hummingbird plates. And this is how the system's now gonna work. I've already worked this out and I saw, I worked it out I was gonna do this yesterday. But before I do that, I need to attach everything to there. So I'm gonna attach this. So I'll take the key out. This is real time, you know Compton, he doesn't mess around, everything's in real time. So I'm attaching the small tiny plate to the bottom of my Osmo. That's where it's gonna stay. It's just gonna live on the bottom of there and be attached to the bottom of that. Okay, you following me so far? Good, good, good. On the bottom of my old Hero 8, I'm gonna flip these down. I'm gonna take this out of here and I'm gonna attach that to the bottom when I can get it in there because I'm fumbling around because I'm trying to do it as quick as I can because I know I'm on video. Right, so I'm gonna attach that to the bottom of my Hero 8, okay? So I now have a Hummingbird clip on the bottom of this and on the bottom of that, all right? So I am now going to take the old mounting bracket off of this one, or the old tripod off the bottom of my nine, and I'm gonna attach the longer plate to the bottom of my nine with my little magnetic key. I'm gonna screw that on like so. That is now fitted to the bottom of my nine. And I am sweating, it really is warm and why I'm thinking I sweat as it is. Right, so that's attached to the bottom of there. The key gets on the bottom. So I've now got a Hummingbird clip on this one, a Hummingbird plate on this one, and a Hummingbird plate on this one. So all three of them have got them on. So this is where this comes into play, okay? I have now got, this one's gonna be spare. This is a spare tripod. So this one can now live at the back there. This is where this comes in, the MT-16. Fantastic, love this one. This is the MT-16, again, I've attached this myself the lanyard it's not part of the kit and i always rush these reviews because i'm not very pro when it comes to this this is a slightly bigger version of this as you can see there there is a little bit more length in it and we all know a little bit more length goes a long long way so the reason i like this it's got a wider leg stance so when i put this down i'm not so feared this is going to fall over compared to this one the other reason i like this is it extends to nearly two foot long, which now means my camera can be about two foot away from me, which is gonna give you a lot better footage. But also on the top of this, you get a standard quarter inch thread, and you also get a cold shoe for mounting my light. So I can now attach my light to the side of the tripod, like so, if I wanted to, or I can attach a microphone to it. So I've got the best of both worlds. Right, so where are we going with this? We are now, going to take the quick plate that we had left over from the other one, which is off the R079, and we're gonna attach it to the top of this tripod. We have now turned that into a Hummingbird tripod, okay? So, I've now got two tripods at two different lengths. I can now attach my Osmo and have it stood up, like so. I can now attach my Hero 9 and have that stood up like so. Or I can start vlogging and I can stretch this out and I can hold it away from me and I can get a long length of vlogging. Or if I'm going to be doing handheld vlogging, I can take this off. I can do handheld vlogging with this and I can clip the Hero 8 on there like so and have a time lapse running. Or I can unclip this one off of this one and I can put this on the small one. So I've got a small tiny unit so I've now got the best of all worlds, being able to use all three items whenever I want to, all off the same clip system. Now, the only thing I would like to see is I'd like to see a little clip system that I can have stuck on the side of my camera strap, like on the side of my bag. If I could have a little clip system where I can clip this in, I have a which way around and carry this around with me, preferably probably a Hero 8 or a Hero 9, that would work out really, really well. So that's that kit, absolutely fantastic little kit. But there's something else as well. There's something else that I can be added to all of this. They've also sent me this. This is, and I haven't got the serial number for this. I would have to find the serial number and put it on the screen for you. 
This is a small attachment. It's a like a little magic arm. And what it is, is you've got a butterfly on the back, you've got a quarter inch thread plate on the top and you've got a quarter inch thread on the back. What I can do with this is I can attach this to the quarter inch plate, the called a quarter inch thread on my tripod where it can live, okay? And what this will do, this will then sit on there like so. If I was to take, say, this hummingbird clip off of here, when I'm not using it, I can screw that onto there, like so, when I can get it on there, like so. Now I can adjust this to where I want it to be. I can unclip that. I can take my vlogging camera and clip that on there. And now I can vlog from my tripod while I've got my camera on my main tripod. How cool is that? How absolutely fantastic is that? You can see it there, it sits there. I can adjust it into any position I want. I can adjust it out, I can adjust it up. I can tilt it up higher. I can get it just where I want it, lock it off, and it is perfectly usable. Camera on one end and uh, Osmo on the other side. Or I can flick it over and I can put my, Os my GoPro on and I can do a time-lapse and leave it running and do a time-lapse on it. Turn it and face it the other direction and away we go. How cool is that? So this hummingbird system is a very, very good little system. Ideally, I'd like another little plate that I can leave on there. So I can leave one on here, one on here, and I can just interlock, interchange as I feel necessary and needed to. Um, but I think that's gonna be really, really good. I'm quite looking forward to using it. And uh, yeah, that's all I really wanted to say. Just one quick thing before I go. This was sent to me last time. I never actually got to show you what it is. This is a G99. This is a, for the GoPro 9 comes a little tin. This is actually a, uh, a 8 ND8. So this clips on the front of this. Now I didn't show it to you properly last time. As you can see there, it just clips on the front there. But when I got it out of the bag the earlier on the, you know, over the weekend, just to bring the rest of the stuff out, I noticed it was still in there and I didn't show you. And all it is is a plastic cap that literally sits on the front there. So if you need an ND8 that easily, easily fits on the front of your GoPro, this is where you're gonna get it from. It won't fit the eight, I don't think. Um, it's a different size lens, or it might do when it's not in that case, um, but it definitely fits on the nine. So yeah, just wanted to show you that um, before I forget I actually got it and forget they actually showed it to me, you know, sent it to me. So yeah, jobs are good and really. Um, thanks for watching. That's all I wanted to do. All the specs and information I would have been putting up on the screen for you, um, like lengths and sizes and weights and things. Uh, all I like to do when I do my reviews is get them out, show you exactly what they are, exactly what you're getting for your buck, and uh, no messing around. And like I say, now I've got three of these little tripods. I can interlink all three of them one way or another, and they all go together. So yeah, thank you to Ulanzi. Lanz thank you to, is it Ulanzi or Ulanzi? But thank you to them anyway. Going to enjoy using these and uh, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, if you like anything that I showed you on here or you're interested in anything else, um, I do reviews every so often on a Friday. Uh, try not to interfere with my landscape photography, which is a Wednesday and a Sunday. So, yeah, till next time, till the next product I get sent. Uh, if it's something I'm interested in or something I want to show you, see you on a Friday. Ciao for now, see you soon.